All right, well, John Gindick here, and this is volume two of my new updated harmonica lesson series done during COVID here in my padded cell, also known as the basement of my house. I'm up at 7,500 feet. I seem to be breathing just fine. Let me see if I can get a picture for you of how it looks outside my window there. Is that just bright light, or can you see that beautiful lake? I won't torture you too long. But anyway, uh, I can't do anyone any damage up here um, except through these lessons. So I'm going to help help addict you to harmonica playing with lesson two. And, you know, in lesson one, what we talked about was the up and down blues riff and playing within a box and getting good. And this box is holes two through four, which are pretty much the meat and potato of second position cross heart blues style harmonica. And so I showed you these licks, up riff, no bends, just just clean notes, just like that. That's the up, two draw, three draw, four blow, four draw, and the four draw is where you're trying to get to. Then there's a pause and the down riff, which returns to the two draw. Again, in this riff, the four blow and the three draw are passing tones, and you want to get over them smoothly. And I want you to muscle memory this before you progress. Really do, okay? Get it so you're good at it and so you can jam and do it to a beat. And I don't really mean that. I want you to keep playing this video because i got other stuff to show you. But stay with that fun fundamentals. Now, this is going to be fundamentals, too. It's exploring the box. the box. The box between holes two draw and four draw. So we have the up riff. The down riff. The four draw surprise. Okay. See how that leaves you up in the air? You want an answer to it, the anticipation. I'm not going to give it to you. Instead, I'm going to teach you the Berkeley Blues Riff, which is a... Let's see if I can do it. It's just a little bit more complicated way from getting from the four draw, the wailing note, to two draw, the note of resolution. Four draw, four blow, three draw. Four blow, three draw, two draw. Let's do it. Make it smooth. Swivel on your lip and go like this. Do not put your hands on the table and move your head. Keep your elbow close to, close to your body. Hold the harmonica not on the low end like that, but on the high end so you can slide it. Have complete access to the harmonica this way. My default embouchure is lip block. Now I'm going to tongue block it. I don't really hear much difference myself. All right, so that's another good riff that's inside this box. All right, time for a little edit here, because I wanted to add on. You can start the Berkeley Blues riff, called maybe the fancy Berkeley Blues riff, going three blow, three draw, four blow, hit the four draw, and do the lick.
Now you can also make it a tension lick by uh, ending it on the four draw. Let me play it more naturally, see how it comes out. What a great lick. There's no bends in it, and you can do it in all different contexts. You can just change the rhythm of it to make it work. All right, now I want to show you something called the slider down lick. And you can actually do it all over the harmonica from starting from the eight blow, nine blow, away, you know, wherever. But we're going to keep it within the box. So um, we go to the four draw. Four blow, three draw, two draw. Let's see if I can do it. Such good practice for learning to move the harmonica smoothly. That's all draw, then you go to the on, off of the four draw to three draw, and then you go to the four blow, do the same thing between the four blow and the three blow. Then that three draw and resolve it. Look at the jaw here, how much I move that, because it's just a tiny little, here. Okay, now also inside holes two and four is the three draw. And the three draw played just straight as a note. It doesn't fit into the blues, but if you put this little half-step bend into it, it's a really important note. So, learning to get this little tone on the three draw is really important to doing a two to three draw type of jam. But it's definitely there inside the box. Now, you might remember the song Spoonful. It goes, mm -hmm, da -da. Mm -hmm, that spoon, that spoon, that spoonful. And that's the way he sings, spoon. Uh, and it kind of scoops up a little bit. Well, that's the beauty. That's a note that you would play on your, on your three draw, half step bend. And it's... Instead of playing the three draw like this, I adjust my airstream and the inside of my mouth so it sounds like this. So now I go. So you want to get that three draw to two draw feeling with that two draw. You can start on the three and go to the two. Or start on the two and go to the three. Okay, so in my next lesson, lesson three, I'm going to really cover bending in much more detail. Um, but I did want to point that out, that that is inside this box. A lot of things inside this box. Okay, and here's one, too. I remember you, I know you remember this, the I'm a man. I think it's a mannish boy. And in that case, you go from two draw to the four blow, three draw, two draw.
When I woke up this morning, I picked up my harp. I went to the lake, and I played it flat and sharp. The ducks start to squabble, fighting for love. I threw them in my bed. I had enough. Well, that was horrible. But you can make up your own song and do it. Gosh, it's so much fun. All right. So instead of <clears throat> the typical 12-bar blues progression, which I played in lesson one, I'm just going to do a little bit different direction. And this is going to go for you guitar players out there from the one chord. Boom, boom. For the five. Da -da. Now when I'm sitting down with the guy to, to play, I don't just start playing. I listen and try to just see what happens with certain notes in the song. find my way through some experimentation. But I still stay within the box. Two draw or four draw or always and four draw are always gonna work. Like a bird on a wire. Like a coyote in a midnight choir, I've tried in my way to be free. All right, you can start with the upper. I'm going to use the three draw. Come on. I'm going to use the I'm a man riff. Yeah. Oh, you sound so good. Come on, little boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah.
Okay. So keep working on these fundamentals. Stay within the box. Get the tone good. Get it round. Get the riffs in your muscle memory. Have complete confidence that if you're getting a single note and you've got the harmonica all the way back, that you're in the right direction. Okay, so I'm going to make a lesson three, and I think that I'd better show you how to bend. Um, then, then you'll be able to stay within this box, but got to add a lot more notes and effects. <laughs> All right, so when you're ready, see you in lesson three.